Praise the bright wolf for rising up into the sky and banishing the white demon. Ah yes, my son, a beautiful commemoration for the day we finally cross the river and meet with the other tribe. And from then, we will finally be free and our borders open. Should we bring this along, Elder? What a stupid question. Of course we have to bring this along. It's the only thing that binds and unites our tribe. But will the other tribe understand this? <sighs> my son, many years ago, before the earth was split into seven pieces of molten crust, the people of the earth went in search of the holy totems. And greatest of all is the stone totem, because it gives us life, livelihood, and the ability for humanity to progress. Rise, brothers. The sun releases her blessing on us today, so that we may cross this river. All hail the wood totem, the greatest of all totems. The other tribe will bow to their greater god today. All shall worship this wooden totem and her earthly blessing for nature. Dear Elder, pardon my ignorance, but why do we carry this wooden totem? What if the other tribe doesn't accept it? What? How can you say that? But the totem is the greatest of them all. But Elder... You dare question me? Hello, brother. Praise Gaia. Yes, today is indeed a marvelous day of commemoration and celebration. And let us, in fact, give thanks to the one that brought us together. All praise the stone totem, greatest of all totems, preserver of mankind and our livelihood. All hail the wooden totem, the wood totem, the protector of our mother and the herald of our gods. <laughs> I'm so sorry if I'm mistaken. Brother, but uh, it would appear that you have proclaimed the wooden totem is the greatest of all. Surely this is but a mistake. Oh no, it is nothing but a mistake. Without the wooden totem, you will not even have your stone totem. To say so is so naive. The stone totem preserves mankind itself, and the earth that would like to swallow us up whole would have its way. This puts mankind in charge and gives us new life and destiny. The other tribe is planning an attack on us tonight. We must strike before they do. But won't that displease the gods? No, no, no. We need to prove that we are superior, for we are the gods. Now let us cast away these demons that oppose us.
the wood tribe are our mortal enemies. Carry on my legacy. Destroy them. Elder, no, you can't leave us. Not now. It's too late. Keep the stars. Creation. We were wrong. Time has eroded our beliefs. For generations, we thought that these were our highest, glorious assets. But it's made us become deluded. We think that we are superior to others because we have these. But this means nothing. It means that we are driven apart and we are separated from each other. For us to continue, these must be destroyed. Our tribes were bonded by the hatred of the other totem. It was not about the belief of our own. So here before us today, we see the destruction of all that has divided us, all that has brought us pain, suffering and chaos. And we hope for a new beginning, together as one people, not as two separate tribes. Here lie the two greatest men our people have ever known. Till they arrived we were savages, we were beasts. We deserved not to call ourselves human. Yet they brought us out of the dark and they cast away our shackles. They let us be so much more than a tribe or a totem. They taught us what it meant to be free.